Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper, and it's time for another Dollar Tree DIY. So, what we're gonna do today, it's already time for Valentine's already, can you believe it? Because I like to get started pretty early. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a nice little faux window and kind of farmhousey. And so, I picked up four of these frames that are eight by 10. They do have a little mat, but we're gonna take that mat right off of there. So I picked up four of these, and then one of these, if you saw my Dollar Tree haul earlier, this lovely glitter heart. I also have a couple of paint brushes, some uh, Fix All, which is kinda like E6000, but this comes from the Dollar Tree. I also, <laughs> I ended up buying the bigger um, acrylic. Look how big that is. So, of course, it's from Arteza. I just love their um, crafting products. So, this one is just the uh, titanium white. So, I went through white really quickly, so I bought some of these bigger ones here. And um, then the last thing is I had this little lowly flower. I have a whole bunch of these little lowly flowers sitting around. So... I grabbed him because I thought it would be cute. I also have, just in case, some burlap ribbon and some reindeer moss. Is that what they call it? Yeah, reindeer moss. So I have all of that just in case with these and we'll see what happens. But first thing we're gonna do is set everything aside and we are going to work on painting and getting these ready. So of course I have my glue gun. So we're just gonna empty all of these out. So first thing, we're gonna open them, and I'm only opening one at this time because I want to um, show you, I'm gonna do all four of them exact, so I'm just gonna show you the one. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna move this down so you can see here. There we go. And we're gonna open these backs up. And we're gonna take everything out and just set it to the side. And these, I purposely chose the brown. And the reason being is because I want um, to have it very farmhousey. So we're going to move all this stuff away. I did put some paper down. Um, this is crafting paper. It actually has these like little things that you could take off and stick um, to your counter. So my aunt, um, the Bijou Baker is her channel. So she uses these um, for her baking and she thought I could use them as well. So we'll see. And of course I have not opened this yet. So we'll see how easily it opens, there we go. So since it is just paper, I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, ink right down on here, on the paper itself. And let's see if I can just show you real quick what I did there, just like that. So I actually think I can show you from this angle. So Tony bought me um, this new stand now you can see this is a very, this, um, this paintbrush is very hard. So I brought a real soft, easy one as well, but I'm gonna use this hard one just to see if I could get some of these stripes on here, which I can, so I'm loving that. Anyway, back to what I was saying is, um, Tony bought me this new easel that I've been wanting um, so that I could show you guys all the different angles and a little bit up close as well. So you can see much better here. And you're just gonna paint, and it doesn't have to be real, like, real hard, like straight white. So I'm just gonna making it like a wood, like a weathered wood kind of look. So I thought this paintbrush would work out really well. 
and it seems to be working and doing its job. And I'm going to get the insides as well. So just some of this ink along the way and some, or paint, I'm sorry, I keep using the wrong terms and I know you guys will say something. <laughs> so, so there we go. So I'd love to hear if you guys have gotten back to crafting. I know um, Christmas is a really big crafting time and then we kind of get away from it and get into to baking and that type of stuff. So I didn't do much baking this year. In fact, I'm thinking about it and I think just the last um, collab video that I did with my aunt is the most baking <laughs> that I've done. So there's a knock at the door, so I'm gonna place you on hold. Okay, that was a random knock at the door. It was a UPS guy, and he was actually bringing me something that I didn't order. It looks like I was entered into, not entered, but kinda got a bulk giveaway. I don't know if you guys have seen my bulk video where they just, um, I don't know. I'll explain it in an actual unboxing because I have to unbox it. I don't know what's in it. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. So we're just putting this on here and I'm going to do all four and then I will get right back with you when that's all done. All right, we're winding up. I've painted all of them. Now I'm going through, since we're not going to be putting any kind of picture or painting down. I want the inside of the white uh, to look white and wood-like, just as the outside. So I'm doing the sides here, just picking up a little bit of white and putting it on the insides as well. So just finishing this up and then we'll look at the fronts. And I've done the other ones the way I like it. I still want it to look, I want it to look like it's white, but weathered. So you'll still see, that's why I chose the brown frames so that I could like run a, a semi dry brush and get that all the way around here. So now that looks like some nice white weathered wood there. And if you see any spots that you may want to just weather up a little more or unweather, if the case may be, just add some more white or you could even rub a little bit off with some sandpaper. I think that's looking good. They all look about the same. Just putting this ink off to the side there. We're done with that. Okay, sorry about that. We're gonna go up here a little bit more. And what we're going to do, I also painted some of these, um, these little guys and I may pull them out later, um, but we really want these to dry up so that they'll, they'll all kind of match. So I don't, yeah, I did some of these. So if there's any, I'm just looking real quick over those. And then we're gonna put these all together and make like a paned window. So, I mean, you can use this for so many things here, um, just to make a nice little pane window somewhere. And I think it would be really cute, and then you can put whatever you want, but we're gonna cover it with a nice little heart. So let's go ahead and get these started. Again, I'm gonna use some of the fix-all. And I think I fixed it all to the side there. Okay, 
Oh, excuse me. There we go. So I need a lot of space here. And basically we're going to take two of these and just glue them together. And so I'm going to take some fix all if you could see. We're going to put that just all along here, a nice little base there. And then I'm going to take some hot glue on the other side. So let's see if you can see here. I want you to be able to see what's going on here. So I'm going to take some hot glue and put it on the side on here. So that way we have two glues holding, one that's going to hold it good right away, and the other one that's going to take a little while to cure, but then in the end hold it nice and tight. So we're going to put these two together and pinch them nicely. Make sure that they are nice and even there and pinch them up and you still want them to be flat. So I'm just going to hold that and hold it flat for just a minute there. And then because it is the hot glue, those um, two have glued nicely together. And then I'm going to do the other side as well. Not the other side, but the other two pieces. Same thing, we're gonna put, how did this fall? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, this is so funny. Hold on, this is... <laughs> yes, this is me. This is, oh, there we go, that's what happened. Sorry about this. There we go. <laughs> okay, we'll keep an eye on this and see. This is really bad, but we're okay. Let's get this going. We're gonna do these sides up, and I really haven't looked to see what is the best side. I'm sure you would wanna do that, but for time's sake, I'm just doing it whatever side works here or that I come up on. Is that falling again? No, I didn't tighten my little knobs. It's new to me, I'm learning. So, and again, we're going to push these two together, line them up nicely. Again, holding them. And it looks like really bad on this side, but once we get it all together and nice, it's going to look nice and new. And good well it's not gonna look new because we're going for the farmhousey look but you could see it's gonna look nice there then once we get those two now we're gonna glue these two along to these two using the exact same method so I'm gonna put some of that fix all here And then I'm going to put some hot glue here. And this is really light, so you don't need to be too heavy handed with either of the two glues. And then we're gonna put those two together. And it's gonna make a nice little window. And I really want these to come together nicely, so that's why I'm doing it like this. And then I'll put it on a flat surface once I get these nice and lined up. And be careful, you are working with glass and all kinds of stuff here. So we've got it on a, a nice flat surface now that I want to show you the lower part, it's not showing me. There we go. So it looks like this is all lined up nicely. I need to be careful of the different areas that have glue in it. And then 
while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and add these back in here so I can show you the little window. Now, if you want, I know some of you guys are gonna tell me that I could just glue these in here, so I'll just go ahead and do it. And that way, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> but we're just gonna put some hot glue here in each of the corners because that's really what's holding it in. And you could put it all the way around if you want as well. There we go. And then we'll do it to all the sides. You wanna make sure you don't put too much though because you want it to hold in there, but you don't want it to um, squeeze out, which I see that kind of happened over here. And that is not what we want. But you know me, it wouldn't be a Beauty and the Stamper DIY if we didn't have some kind of issues, right? Another one of these. So it will look like a wooden pane there. Let me get these other two glasses out as not to cut myself. You really, really want to give that fix all time to cure. So I'm going to add the glass and then we're going to wait a while. So just moving this around, getting it along some of the sides and really in those corners. pieces that are holding that glass, just be very careful. There we go. Okay. And then the last piece here. That one went a little too hard. A little too much glue came out of there. Now we're just gonna sit and wait and let this cure and it will take a little while so we'll just be back in a bit okay while we're waiting for that to cure I'm just gonna get this piece here so we can work on the little heart and get him ready just cleaning up anything that needs to be and then we're gonna decide I definitely want this flower to be on there, but I'm not real sure if I need to have some of this reindeer moss. Ooh, it's got a smell to it too.
just to give it a little bit of country kind of feel and a little bit of the burlap as well. We're trying to decide on this one. So I'm trying to think if I'd like to do a nice little country bow. So I just take a piece, oh, let's see, it's about a foot long, and then we're just going to put it in the middle, we're going to bring that around, and put that in the middle as well. So we're going to glue these two pieces together. Be careful, don't burn yourself. those two pieces nice together and then all that glue is actually going to make its way down. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. So get that glue right in those holes and it's going to be a real nice tight little weave there. So there we go. And we've got this nice little bow started here. And then we're going to take just a little bit more um, to make it into a bow around. We'll pinch it a little bit. Let me see here. I don't want it to be too big. So I think what we'll do is we'll make it mid-size like that. And here we'll pinch this part in the middle there and bring this around. There we go. This is going to be a cute little bow here. We're going to pinch that in there. And as it's pinched, again, be so careful. Um, when you're working with these guys. Hot glue is not something to mess with. So we've got it nice and pinched. And we're going to pull this other side over and put it around the back as well. Okay, here we go. And we've got just a nice little bow. I do not want to touch this, but I want it to be a nice tight little bow there. And we didn't need to do this little guy in the bow, but um, I wanted to do it just in case, you know, because I want to have a the flower there as well. So we'll just cut this extra off and push this down in there. And that'll wait for just a minute. But I love the burlap because the glue works itself into those little holes and then holds it in place there. Now we can choose what we want to do here. I'm going to get a little bit of this rainbow moss just to give it some color because it's just because it's Valentine's doesn't mean it has to be all red. So I'm going to put a little bit here and as it drips down I'm just going to grab that rainbow moss and stick it on here. 
same with this side. I called it rainbow, didn't I? Did I call it rainbow moss? Reindeer moss. And this is really messy stuff. <laughs> Just pick some up and put it in whatever sticks sticks and what doesn't doesn't and we're okay with it either way. Because we don't want to make a big deal out of it, just a little bit there. I think we're good. So just a little bit, you can see, like I said, whatever falls off, falls off. Whatever you don't like, just take it off. So we've got that. Now we're going to put this bow right here. I think I'm going to have it go this way. Yeah. We'll take our bow and we'll put a nice dollop of hot glue on here. Push that guy down. So if you could see where we're at so far. And then any of this extra little moss that you see on the back, we'll just cut off. Woo! It's almost as if I haven't done DIYs in forever. There we go. I think I turned the bow around the other way, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take this guy and take it off of there, but I still want these little guys on here. So, but I want it flat. So I'm going to take off all of the plastic. And so you'll just have this leaf here and we'll glue that down. Just a little bit of glue there. And then we'll take this side and I'm going to cut that piece of plastic that's going to give it like a really high and make it a little bit lower there. And we're just going to put some glue right around here and get that in there. We're just going to wait for our glue to dry and look at how cute this little guy is. You can't really see because I put the wrong end here of that moss so I'm going to add a little bit more moss because I do like the look of it. So we're going to just run this along here. And get out some more moss. It just kind of, I don't want the brown of the moss though. And again, we'll cut off anything in the back. I like it. I don't think it needs to go up on the top. I'm just gonna look just to make sure and see if I want it up on the top or not. And I don't. Oh, I might want a little bit there. So you decide what you want. I think since we're gonna go here, I'll just kind of cover this edge of it there. And again, I'm gonna pull out the lighter green to put on here. See there? Yeah, 
Uh, that looks a little bit cute. And from the side, it looks cute too. So really darling. Now we're just gonna cut some of this stuff off. And now we're just waiting. We're gonna wait before we adhere this guy onto our window pane. But there's our little heart. If you wanted to, if you didn't want to do the window pane, you could just hang this little guy. Well, he's not hanging very well because he's a little bit heavy on this side. But we're gonna hang him with a little something more sturdier. And there we go. So, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, this is all done. This is all done and ready. And then all you have to do, I've decided to take these out and they come out pretty easily. You just wiggle them kind of back and forth and they just pop on out. So I've done most of them. I just have a few left, but I wanted to show you how easy, well, you can't really see. Let me move this around. Um, I just wanted to show you here. You just wiggle it and it pops out. So I think that's all of them, except for this one. And we are good to go. Now, we want to make this into like a window. So you can see here, and it kind of looks like a uh, picture window. So we want to do this. I'm gonna actually turn it around here. I'm gonna kind of work upside down so that you could see. Here we go. And I want this here, but if it hangs, remember we've got that like that. So I'm gonna do this. I'm going to measure about where I need it because I'm gonna have this come just up and over here. We're gonna put a little bit of glue right on here. Pop that down just like that and then that's going to look like it's being held there but what really is going to be happening is it's going to be held on in two places and one is <laughs> I got to measure this properly actually I think I will use an actual pen how about that imagine that I just put this down, make sure it sticks on there. Good. So if you can see that. And it doesn't have to, it's not going to be holding any weight at all. I'm going to use these little stickers to put down where the glue would go. I was going to use a pen, but... Okay, so now <laughs> I know where the glue is going to go. So I'll pick that up. I'm going to put a nice dollop here. And I will pick this up and put a good dollop here as well. Now we know exactly where that glue is going to go. I'm going to bring this down. And there we go. Center it nice. Let it dry there. And this glue is dried. And then we will. <laughs> Did I glue that? Of course I did. I wasn't paying attention to the top. There we go. So now, here we go. Look at that lovely window. Uh-oh. 
Gotta wait for the glue to dry. So I will take a picture of it. How about that? So for right now, <laughs> you know me. Oh my goodness. Trying to film is a little bit harder. So there we go. I'll show you a picture at the end. But until then, there we go. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye.